Hello, my name is Rob Thomas. Today we're going to be looking at how to test a pickaxe circuit to make sure that the download connection cable will function correctly. So over here, I'm not sure if it's very blurred, this is a direct printout out of pickaxe manual 1, page 44, serial download circuit. Okay, and it shows a 3.5mm stereo download socket connected through two components, one is a 10K resistor, one is a 22K resistor into the serial output, serial input and ground of the pickaxe. Okay, um, the circuit that I'm using, and you'll be able to find both this and this in the uh, comment section below. Um, the circuit I'm using is a little traffic light simulation circuit. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Uh, we've got a green LED, amber and a red LED, three th uh, 330 ohm resistors to drive those three. Those are connected to pins 7, 6 and 5. Um, we've got a piezo buzzer which is connected to pin 3 and we've got a push to make switch which has a tactile switch here and a pull down resistor here which is connected to pin 4. The other connections on the piezo uh, sorry, on the pickaxe chip is ground in pin 8 and in pin 1 we've got power supplied. We've also got connected to pin 2, PR connection for the pickaxe and on pin 7 we've got the ST connection for the pickaxe comms and both those connect to that. Okay, so the way that we go and test one of these is very simple. First of all, you want to get your meter and switch it to 200 ohms, which is right down the bottom on these cheap little Dick Smith meters. Um, then you want to make sure that you get the black probe and you, a little bit of cable trouble there, connect the black probe to the negative on the battery supply. So negative on the battery supply, red positive, First thing you want to do is just touch the probes together. Now you can see there that the meter reading is 0.5 of an ohm. And that's possibly because one, these are cheap meters. Secondly, it might be due to a little resistance in the leads. Okay, so that also goes and tests to make sure that the meter is working. Okay, the second thing we're going to do is to check for shorts between the positive and negative terminals. Okay, neither of those have got shorts, which is good. Also, I'm going to test on to pin one there. And again, we haven't got any shorts there. And I'm also going to check on to pin, zero, uh, pin eight. And there we've got a dead short, which is what we're looking for, because we're on the negative lead, which should connect to here. Okay, so that is good. The next thing we're going to test is Again, we can either do it from here or we can do it from pin 8. I'm going to test to the negative of the audio jack, which is just inside there. And that's a short circuit as well, which is good. And next, I'm going to check from pin 7 to the middle connection on there on the audio jack, which again is short circuit, which is good because those two are connected directly. The next one I'm going to check is from pin 2 to one side of the 22K resistor, and that's working fine. The next one from the other end of the 22K resistor to the other end of the 10K resistor. And again, that's short circuit. And the, lastly, I'm going to just check into the other side of the audio, and there again, perfect. Okay, so in theory, that should work. The only problem is, I don't have a chip. So, moving to one, I'd then put the chip in, and then I would test it. I use an AXE 027 and a power supply, we just use a plug pack, which supplies five volts. Thank you. Okay, just to clarify then, 
This is an exact representation of the chip, oh sorry, of the programming socket. The right hand side is the ground, the negative. Okay. The central point, which I was testing to here, goes to pin 7. And this one, the left, sorry, the right hand side as you're looking at it, goes to the connection between the 10K and the 22K. So there's the 22K, there's the 10K, and we were testing in there. So you can actually get your meter in there and touch the probes there for the right hand side, touch the probes there for the left hand side, and you can test here for the middle one. Thank you.